Uh, you can see what's happening right here. Bitcoin has stuck around this $16,000 range for a couple of weeks now. Ethereum, $1,200 range for a couple of weeks now. The entire altcoin market has traded sideways for a couple of weeks now. And the market is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And things look to be tough in 2023. Things are going to be tougher in 2023. It's already happening right now. Not just in crypto. The stock market has lost over $500 billion. The stock market has lost over $500 billion today. Cryptocurrency market has lost over $2 billion today. And I think this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. I am anticipating anywhere between 200 to 400 billion dollar loss in the cryptocurrency market over the next couple months total market cap 800 billion dollars right now and i think before we get to the true bottom total market cap is going to be around 400 to six hundred billion dollars. So an eight hundred an eight hundred billion dollar market cap still over value. An eight hundred billion dollar market cap still over value, and we can easily lose anywhere between two hundred to four hundred billion dollars in the next couple months. This is not the first time talking about a potential 200 to 400 billion dollar loss. I have been talking about this scenario for the last couple months. I have been talking about that the cryptocurrency market $800 billion, a trillion billion dollars, uh, a, a trillion dollars, over a trillion dollars, and even $700 billion is overvalued. And I think the fair value of the crypto market is somewhere around 400 to $600 billion. And I think that is exactly where we're heading in the next couple months. So buckle up, buckle up, tougher times ahead, but those who are prepared and those who try to be prepared throughout the last 12 months are going to be rewarded in the next couple months when great projects are trading at a huge discount and when great stocks are trading at a huge discount but you have you have to be prepared and you have to be resilient and you have to trust your plan 
And you have to be willing to stay on the sideline for another couple months. And those are basically my plans. Like those are basically my plans. In 2022, I was very, very clear that it was never a good time to buy any old coin. And you look at the performance of almost every project over the last 12 months. We have projects that are down 70%. We have projects that are down 80%. We have projects that are down 90%. And we also have some projects that are down 95%. So my plans At least for the first part of 2023 is to continue to be cautious, is to continue to be resilient, and it is to continue to believe that the time to accumulate is not right and that most projects can potentially take another big hit anywhere between 50 to 80% from their current price. This is something that I continue to repeat over and over and over. And there's a reason why I continue to repeat this over and over and over and over. The risk is very, very clear. The risk is very, very, very clear. It is perfectly fine to be bullish on the long term. And it is also perfectly fine to be bearish in the short term. So in the short term, I am extremely bearish on the cryptocurrency market and on the stock market. But in the long term, I am extremely bullish. And I think those who are prepared and those who are preparing themselves right now are going to take advantage of the biggest opportunity since the 2008 Great Recession. I think we are going to see the S&P 500 down 40 to 50% from its all-time high. We have seen a lot of stocks down 60 to 80% in the last 12 months. And the only reason why the S&P 500 has not seen a huge drawdown is because of stocks like Tesla, stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, you know, who make up a bigger percentage is because of those stocks that the S&P 500 has not seen a major drawdown. But here we are today, you know, looking at, looking at the chart looking at Apple, Tesla, Amazon, Google, 
Microsoft. When you look at the chart of those stocks, it is very, very clear that this is the beginning. This is the beginning of, of a bigger drop. And in the next couple months, it absolutely won't surprise me. If those stocks are trading 35 to 50 percent from their old time highs, so I am expecting you know a 50 percent correction in the likes of Apple. Uh, Amazon, I believe, is already down 50 percent. Uh, Microsoft, you know, another stock that has not seen a major drawdown. But I am expecting, I am expecting, you know, those particular stocks to purely, uh, you know, to, to purely perform in the next couple months. And when we look at the cryptocurrency market, we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, uh, you know, especially Ethereum, and a few other projects. So we have these, you know, particular projects with a bigger market cap that I truly believe we'll see a 50% drop in the next couple months. So times ahead are going to be tougher, but those who are going to be prepared and those who are preparing themselves right now you know, are going to see great opportunities and should be able to accumulate should be able to accumulate at a huge discount.